to your health this morning, and she was diagnosed with Lyme disease at eight years old. It's a disease she will live with for the rest of her life. Now, Olivia Goodrow is 13, and she's created a foundation called Live Lyme, and she is helping design, has helped design an app to track ticks. Olivia is here to tell us more and how you can get involved. Olivia, good to see you. Nice to see you too. Well, at 13, you've done a lot. This has greatly impacted your life, hasn't it? Yes, it does. Tell me how so. For people who don't know, we hear Lyme disease, but people might not know what it is. Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease, and it's the fastest spreading vector-borne disease. And you get it from being in the woods or in your front yard, and there's a tick on your leg, and um, you get bitten. And it, it sometimes it can take around three to five minutes for it actually to go into your system. Um, and if you do not catch it early on, you will have chronic Lyme disease. Does everyone who is affected or bitten by a tick get it? No, only a certain percentage of people ha have Lyme disease from ticks. Um, only a certain percentage of ticks have Lyme disease. Um, so you probably, you didn't know. When you were eight years old, do you even remember the tick from when you were eight years old? We did not see the tick, and I do not remember having a rash or a bullseye rash, which only 50% get bullseye rashes. So you saw countless doctors when you were young. You remember that time, eight, nine years old, trying to figure out what was wrong? Yes, that was like a horror movie. I saw 51 doctors, um, 50 of them passed me on to the next doctor, saying, we can't figure out what's wrong with you. Some of them said, oh yeah, you're just dehydrated. And one of them actually diagnosed me with Wilson's disease, which is an awful disease to where you don't live past the age of 40. Wow. And I was in second grade at the time, and hearing that was terrifying for me. And then when the DNA test came back saying that I did not have that disease, they said, oh, do you feel left out at school? Do you feel left out at home? Are you just making this up so you can gain attention? Wow. And I just wanted to smack them in the face because <laughs> I was having a horrible symptoms. And I was thinking in my head, what second grader would want to make this up? Right. And for Lyme disease uh, people and many people out there who are undiagnosed, they can't figure out what's wrong, right? They're just always tired and they have all of these symptoms. And it's, I know many people um, now who have it. But let's get on to what you've done about it, okay? So the app, tell me about that. The app took eight months to create, and it is a free app for all users, and it helps you track and report and ticks um, that you can see um, on our map, and it, we use geolocation. So we're looking at video right now of the app. So is this to help people um, avoid areas with ticks, or what? how should we be using the app? If I download it, how would I use it? This app is to help people be aware of where they are and what ticks are around them. And we use actual real information from <coughs> people who have experienced it. Um, you can say, oh, yes, I found a tick on my dog in this forest. So you would report that. Yeah. And then other people could see that and avoid the area. Is Colorado yes. uh, prone to ticks like some of the other states we know have more ticks? Um, we are prone to ticks. Um, not that many, though. I feel like we're kind of the safe zone right now because of our high altitude. Um, but there are ticks everywhere sure. in every continent. Yeah, well, you've done a great job, you and your family. So continued success with the app, and I hope you're feeling well. As Thank I know, you. Lyme disease can really, can really take a toll on people. But you've done a great job, especially 13 years old. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Thanks, Olivia. Well, you can find more information about the Tick Tracker in the On TV section of our website, kwgn.com. Well, you may take it for pain, but...